Hello Cancer and welcome to your May 15th through the 21st weekly reading. Cancer, this is a general reading. It won't resonate with all of you, so please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs to see if there's more information in those for you. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. If you are returning, thank you for your trust, your support, your likes and subscribes, all your energies. I thank you all so very much. Cancer, we're going to do a new format, so let me know how you like it. I'm doing three cards for your health, three cards for your financing your career, and then three cards for love for this week. We're starting out with health, popping right in. We have the Queen of Cups. That is you showing up, taking charge, large and in charge, right? We have the world. And we have ten of swords. All right. So in this row, we are seeing, again, you are showing up in your own reading, the Queen of Cups. We have Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, but it's like um, whatever it is you're doing, you are attracting you're attracting uh you could have lost weight you could have gotten in better shape people are noticing is what i'm saying people are being drawn to you um and again you're taking the initiative you are doing the the you're walking the talk is what i feel it's almost like you're showing others how it's done or needs to be done you're coming to a completion of some part of your life you're coming you could be reaching an age milestone you could be reaching a goal milestone for weight um, you could be reaching something that is, um, it's almost like full circle. It can either be that or it can be here we go again. It's like if you've taken off that the 10, 12, 15 pounds and you put them back on and it's like here we go again, we're starting all over again. But this is the end of a cycle. 10 of swords is the end of a cycle. So whatever this is that either you're repeating or you're done, you're done. You're not going to go back to it. You're going to keep on track. You're going to keep on schedule. You're going to really work hard in order to obtain your goal and keep your goal. Um, again, you're relying on yourself. You're relying on your knowledge, being the queen. You're relying on lessons learned. And you're relying on um, almost like how you feel or how you have been feeling and how you feel now. It's like... I feel so much better or I don't hurt or whatever I'm not going back to this I'm not going back to this energy it's also the Queen of Cups it's also um, you know very emotionally stable energy so you could be um, People could be drawn to you for that. People could be drawn to you for your advice or your your frankness or your um, ability to pretty much call it like you see it. Career and finance. Career and finance for cancer, please. Career and finance for cancer. Career and finance for cancer. 15th to the 21st of May. Career and finance for cancer. Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Again, another completion. Ten of Wands. And Seven of Swords. Good deal. Wow. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is good luck. This is good fortune. This is a gamble. Maybe taking on a job or a situation that is going to pay off. It is also talking about um, a shift in luck or a shift in... Um, the mundane whatever is has been going on there's a shift in the energies things could be ramping up that were normally slow if you work in a, uh, a business or you work at a, a factory or you work for a company it could be getting busier things could be getting busier there's some type of shift in energy here but it's also cyclical it's also like it comes in you know, you have the world and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it, it's like they come in cycles. And so it's like the cycle is coming again. And Ten of Wands is whatever it is you're working on. If it's a project, if it's a big um, deal or something, it's coming to an end. This is a burden you've had to carry. If you are in school or something for school, like you're going to do school and then go into work, go into a business or go into uh, a company, this is ending. You're, you're almost there. Ten of Wands can be a card about carrying 
the burden you have to carry to get from point A to point B, i.e. like if you're in school and then you graduate and then you can go to the organization or company, kind of that energy. This I see with the moon here, we have a, a full moon on the 16th, which is uh, tomorrow if you're watching this on the 15th and it's in Scorpio. We also have a new moon in Gemini on the 30th. So um, you could be ending some project, ending something you've put a lot of work in, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. It could shift the energies. It could change the dynamics of something also. And this just shows to me the Seven of Swords in this deck. I just feel like um, uh, you're going to take from this project or take from this what you need to take and you're going to leave the rest. It's it's like um, almost like a learning experience. You're going to take the knowledge that you learned from this with you to another project or another company or another, um, not that you're leaving the company, but, but you're going to take what knowledge you've learned and move forward with it. You're going to go forward with it. It's like you're always going to have it. Um, you left what doesn't serve you. <clears throat> And it's like you're moving on, uh, but again, it could just be to a new project. It doesn't necessarily mean a new company, uh, but you're going to take everything you learn from that with you. And it's like, I know what not to do, but I know what to do when you do the next project or you do the next, whatever it is you have to do. Whatever it is that you're doing now is kind of coming to an end. It could be a, a quarterly. It could be, I don't know that much about corporate. It could be something like that. It could just be... Um, Again, where you are, you know, you're graduated and you're moving on and then you're going to take the lessons you learned through, um, just say you were doing some type of intern work or something and you're going to take all that lessons with you or you really have pared down knowing what you want and what you don't want or what you want to do or what you don't want to do. All right. Love for cancer. Victory. Six of wands. Beautiful. Love for cancer. Oops, way too many. Love for cancer. Cancer needs to know about the love. Nope. Hang on. Okay, love for cancer. Alright. So we have six of wands, so we have a victory. Um It could be something in, well, this is your love reading. So you could be feeling very blessed and very happy that you're with who you're with, I feel, right now. But there could be some type of um, worry or regret over maybe a past relationship or a relationship you came out of. Or um, you're confident and secure here. So I don't think that's this relationship. If you're in a relationship now... Um, what I'm actually feeling is that, you know, you are worried maybe that the partner is going to leave or the part, something's going to happen to the partner. You have anxiety and worry over what, what happens if something happens to them. What will I do then? And you have a crossroads card. You have a card of indecisiveness. And it's like you might want to make something um, more binding or more um, stable but you're unsure how to go about it or you're not quite sure about it yet or you're indecisive about it. Um, it's almost like you don't want to scare this person off. You might really like this person. You might hit it off. You get it along really great. You have worry and anxiety over them leaving and you know you might want to make something more binding or more secure, but you're afraid you might scare them off. If you're not in a relationship, um, you're looking for... Um, a stable relationship you're looking for maybe somebody to see you who, who for who you really are and be happy to be with you but I think in the past I don't think you've had that I don't think you've had that stability and I think you even go back and forth with do I want to be in a relationship or not kind of energy if you're not in a relationship that is kind of what I'm feeling on those cards uh, bottom of the deck energy, we have seven of wands. This is subconscious energy. This talks about holding your own, standing your ground, having your boundaries set. And again, I think that is in all aspects of your life. Um, being prepared, being prepared, 
knowing what might be coming and standing your ground, knowing your reaction, knowing what you're going to say, knowing how you're going to handle something with the seven of wands. Seven is a decision. So you're making your decision over how you want something to play out or how you want something to go down or how you want something to affect you, right? Because um, again, your boundaries are set and you're, you're holding your ground on your boundaries. It's like, no, I'm not crossing that line anymore. I'm not doing it. And I think that's in all aspects of your life. I think you're taking charge of yourself and taking charge about what you can control and what you can't control. Oracle card for cancer is routine. Routine. Who doesn't like a routine? I like a routine. I like a routine. Um, this looks almost like a summer home and a winter home on them. Hmm. Following a certain path. Let's see what the book has to say. I think cancer, you do better in routine. I think you do better in um, something that you have control over or something you have a say over instead of somebody dictating to you or telling you how things are going to be. Not that, you know, if you're in a relationship, you compromise, definitely. But I'm just saying for your health and for your career, um, as much as you can control it, as much as you can have your hand in it, I think you do a lot better. So this says, every morning I watch the crows return to my neighborhood, and every evening I see them see as see them as they depart. It's like clockwork. The crows have a routine that they have stuck with for as long as I can remember. I moved to Seattle in 1998 and noticed it back then. Routine speaks to the things we do out of habit because it's part of who we are. What is expected of us? In many ways, it is a routine that creates stability. However, it can also lead to stagnation or getting into a rut. Ask yourself, are you in a routine that makes a foundation for success? Or are you merely going through the motions because you don't know what else to do? I think personally, Cancer, with your um, the world card, which is an ending, something cyclical, and, and again with the... Um, wheel of fortune which is also cyclical you might be getting back into your routine you might be coming back into a routine you might be finding out um what's that movie stella gets her groove back you know you might be finding that groove you might be finding your groove you might be finding out what works best for you and knowing that you work best in a routine and keeping it as standing you know firm on it as something that you are keeping in your life because you work better under a routine in all aspects, in your health, in your career and finance, and in love, you know, um, knowing what and who's responsible for what, you know, you work better at that way. All right. Cancer, let me know how this resonates with you. Good luck to you. Be safe. Be blessed. Until next week. Bye for now. Thanks again for watching.